When a sound encounters an object, only two things can happen. It can either be reflected back or absorbed. It's sound absorption that you need to address when you want to improve the acoustics of the room, in which case we need to understand the difference between echo and reverberation. An echo is a single reflection of a sound wave off a distant surface. It is perceived as a distant repetition of the sound, usually slightly fainter than the original because of the energy lost as the sound waves travel a great distance. Reverberation occurs in closer spaces where instead of traveling, sound waves pile on top of each other, arriving at the receiver or your ear at different times, making it difficult to comprehend or understand. It increases the volume in a room and in turn makes people raise their voices to compensate for their inability to hear what's going on around them. Reverberation time, or the time it takes for a sound to fade, is controlled by introducing sound absorbing elements into a space, elements like acoustic lighting. But not all acoustic lighting is made equal. The one way that as a lighting designer you can compare apples with apples is to use universal methods for calculating acoustic values. You may have heard of NRC, the noise reduction coefficient of a product. This value represents the ability of a surface to absorb sound. It's pretty simple, the higher the NRC, the better the sound absorption. However, the use of NRC has its limitations because two very different materials may have the same NRC value, but it doesn't mean they perform the same way. So at Luxbox, we use the Sabin value of a fixture. In effect, the Sabin value measures how well one square foot or meter of any surface is able to absorb sound. You calculate Sabins by multiplying the sound absorbing surface area of a product with its NRC. Let's talk about how we design our products to maximize the Sabin values. You can see we have a large surface area on the outside of the product, but also a large surface area on the inside of the product. We multiply the NRC value by the surface area to get a very large Sabin value. We maximize the Sabin value in three separate ways. One is using a very high sound absorption PET material. Two, it's through the maximizing of the surface area of the product, outside and inside. And three, it's via diffusion, and that's by creating angular faceted surface areas which don't directly reflect the sound. 